So, a while ago, I was seeing a nutritionist. I have a lot of health issues, and this was before I was diagnosed with anything. So we were kind of just trying to figure something out to like help. This did not help. It just made me miserable because she took away, she took away my two reasons for living, uh, carbs and coffee wasn't supposed to, apparently I have sensitivities to those according to her. Um, I don't believe it because I am not going to give up carbs or coffee at the moment. I'm not gonna give those up yet. Maybe carbs in the future, maybe not. We'll see what happens. Anyway, we stopped seeing her after she said that uh, she would require some financial commitment. Um, so we, we, we knew what she was about. We knew what she was after. But during one of those appointments that I had with her, uh, she told me about a dream that she had that either was just about me or it represented me or something. I'm not really sure. I don't know. Apparently the dream was she was in a house and she could hear screaming coming from the attic. Um, and so she went to investigate it because obviously that's what you do when you are having a dream. Well, I guess she wouldn't know she's dreaming, but if you hear screaming coming from an attic in a house that isn't yours, you're gonna go investigate it, naturally. That doesn't sound like the start of a horror movie at all. Um, but apparently I or something that represented me or whatever, a girl that represented me, was sitting in the attic in a chair, like in the middle of this empty room. I was the one screaming. Uh, apparently I was screaming my head off and this woman said that she was trying to tell me to stop screaming and she was like shouting, but I couldn't hear her because I was screaming too loud. And she said that if I were to just stop screaming, then it would have been better. And then she said, that's kind of how you are now. Something about how if I just stopped screaming and thought for a second, things would be better. Okay. <laughs> Talk about telling someone it's all in your head. Oh my gosh, I have an autoimmune disorder. And she was like, well, we didn't know that at the time, but she was just like, oh, you just need to stop and think for a second. Excuse me. She also told me things like, whenever I walked into a room, I should say, I cast these demons out of this room. Because demons would listen to a measly little human like me who can't look people in the eyes. Yeah, I'm sure that's how that would go. You know, I think if I tried to cast any demons out of my room, it would go like something like this. I cast these demons out of this room. Uh, I said, I cast these demons out of this room. Hello? Get out. That's right. I own this bit. Do you think demons smell fear? I probably reek if they do. Anyway, talking about this now, I feel like I should be offended, but I'm... I was then, and I am now, just absolutely weirded out. Like, it's so bizarre. Imagine saying that to someone. Have you ever cast a demon out of your room? Let me know. <laughs> For real, do you have any uh, weird doctor stories? Because I have quite a few. The more doctors you see, the weirder things get, is what I've found. Oh, I have plenty of those, but tell me your weird doctor stories. Bye! get the reference? <laughs> Probably not because it's like stupid. But I'm wearing stripes for Beetlejuice. The bio exorcist. <laughs> I'm the ghost with the most, babe. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Peace. <laughs>